Hi, I want to thank everybody who stopped by and viewed my Meet the Maker that I did for Kim Pettis and who gave me words of encouragement to keep on vlogging. I thought about it for a while and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's too much work. I don't want to do it. But your words of encouragement, I'm going to keep trying. You know, I don't know what my schedule will be. I don't want to do it to make money. I just like it because I all want you all to know how much I appreciate you doing it and how much I get from it. I really enjoy it. And it's actually gotten to the point where I follow too many people that I unsubscribed from a few, but I still kept a lot of subscriptions, but I don't get notifications for every video because there's the people that do it every single day. As much as I want to watch them, I just don't have the time. And then I feel guilty that I know it's out there and I didn't watch it and then it bugs me and then I have to watch it and I just don't have enough time. Even, I hate to admit this, but my children are grown. They, I have houses for them in the neighborhood that they live in. And when I come home from work, I'm tired and I really don't wanna do much. So pretty much from the time I get home, to the time I go to bed, I probably crochet. <laughs> but I can't watch YouTube videos that whole time because so, I, sometimes I just have to think, especially if I'm doing testing, which I've done a lot lately. Excuse me. Um, I just finished a diamond shawl test pattern, which there are some photos of it on Facebook. I have not gotten permission yet to share it on YouTube, so I can't put it there but on here, or I'd show you. But once she releases the pattern, I'll go ahead and do that. And I am currently testing two other patterns. I am testing a scarf, which is nice. It's a thin scarf, it's not very wide, and it goes around. Um, you do one side, and then you do the other side, and then you seam them, and that's crochet. And it's in fingering weight yarn, and this is what I've got so far that's all I can show you is that color it's actually the remnants from the test pattern that I just did and then I have a knit wrap that I'm doing and by the way this is take two of this video I already did it once and apparently I didn't have the microphone on on YouTube so it was just me going I was like what the heck well that's what it was so now I learned don't do that so, some people say, um, I have the feeling I'm going to be a so person. You can point it out to me. I will not take offense. Any constructive criticism is very much welcome. And I can't tell you guys enough how much and how happy it made me for those who responded and gave me words of encouragement to keep on vlogging and to keep going and do more. Because... I've thought about it for a while and I didn't do it I didn't do it but I really wanted to let other people know how much I appreciate them doing it and it's just nice to stay in touch with people meet people that you it's my only way you can put a voice to the person that you're typing to and seeing and it's pretty cool but I wanted to show you all these hats real quick these are um, Steelers colors. My oldest son had put in a request for two Steelers hats for his friends. So I made those and I believe it was Debbie the Canadian crotcheter who pointed out Hannah from the Cozy Cottage's slouchy hat pattern. I think it's cotton candy slouchy hat. The pattern is a dollar. One dollar. So I went ahead and I bought that and I bought um, Katrina Creations knit shawl pattern that I wanted to try. And I made these two hats using that. It is so fast. Normally when I make these hats for them, I would just make a row of maybe a chain of 29 chains probably. And I would just test them. I had to see where it fell. And then I would just make a big rectangle. And then I would fold it in half, seam it up, and then I would cinch the top, put a pom-pom on it, and be done. 
But my son complained that here in Western New York that those hats are too cold. So I thought this was more, maybe a little more doubled up. I don't know. I thought I'm going to try this and see what they say. If they don't like it, they can bring them back. I'll take them apart and remake them the other way. But this way they have this brim, which you do first, and then you crochet, attach it, and then crochet around. Um, which I know a lot of people like to fold that up, so these hats have it. The other way I do it, it doesn't have the brim, but they can roll the hat up. So I made quite a few for him. They tell me what colors I'm not into football. I'm like, come upstairs, you pick out the colors of the yarn I have, and then I'll make the hat. <laughs> That's what he does. So, and since this is take two, I don't remember what I've already told you or not. But, so I think I'm just going to go with this and let you know that uh, I am in my living room right now. And I am what, what you see is what you get. I don't wear makeup. I don't do my hair. I have learned a long time ago in my 40s. You know, your hair's going to do what it's going to do, and I'm not fighting it anymore. I just let it do its own thing. And you can hear my cats in the background. That is Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer as in, like, Lucifer. But it's L-U-C-Y-F-U-R because she's a long-haired cat. But she is a screamer, and any of the other cats look at her, she screams. Even in the middle of the night. It's fun. It's fun. I'm hoping to do um, videoing up in my craft room, which is a disaster, because my son was in the house for uh, about six months last year, and he uh, just moved out uh, about four months ago. You'd think I'd have my room back. I don't. But it's messy, but I'll probably video up there so it's quieter, and the cats won't be in the videos. However, that's not going to stop us from hearing them sitting outside the door screaming, or crying so that's my plans and I think that's all I have for now but thank you so much for everybody who's giving me likes and encouragement to go on and do this it is kind of cool I like it I'm not in it for the money I'm just in it to meet you people and my fans and people my friends I shouldn't say fans I don't have fans but my friends on here that I've been watching you and you've been watching me or we've been conversating back and forth on different Facebook groups. So you get to meet you, meet each other another way. So this was my thing I wanted to show you today before I walk them next door to my son so he can deliver them. So they're out of my house and I can work on my other projects. And I just want to say thanks again. I love you guys and do something nice for people. And I'm sorry I'm a hand talker. So I keep seeing them down here in the corner and I, sorry, and I'm not in.